Hello everyone. Welcome to the interactive class on computers. So today we will be discussing chapter 4 that is ethics and safety measures in computing. So in this lesson we will be covering the following topics. So the topic which we will be covering today are so we will be discussing about the internet, it advantages, it disadvantages, ethics in computing, unethical cyber practices, safety measures, digital footprint and erasing the digital footprint. So these are some of the topic which we will be covering in this chapter but today we will be only covering these three points that is advantages and disadvantages of using the internet and introduction to ethics in computing. Now let us discuss about the internet. So when we define internet, internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks that enables the user to share the information and various resources with each other. So here it's a network of the network. So each computers are connected with each other in order to share the resources amongst each other. So the resources may be of different type, intellectual resources, financial resources, material resources, knowledge resources, software, hardware resources, so many things comes there. But here, this had, internet had revolutionized our world. So internet has become the essential part of our life. Slowly and gradually, it is expanding to reach the every section of our society and the tasks that were usually performed through the personal interactions such as banking, shopping, and communication can now be done offline. So everything can be done online. That is e-commerce, e-business, e-banking, everything is online. So this is with the advent of internet. We can save the data and information across the globe instantly and the Internet has also transformed the world into a smaller and convenient place to live in. Now every organization is making its presence felt on the internet and almost every aspect of our life is touched by the internet. So internet provides 24 into 7 services. So you are all familiar with the internet. So internet can be do for online shopping, internet can be done through social networking, internet can be used for entertainment. So there are many fields where the internet, almost everything is done, the government policies, the government uh, website, the um, private corporate website, everything are there, now it had come in the internet that is online. Now, here today we will be analyzing the advantages and disadvantages of internet. Now what are the different advantages? There are a lot of advantages so I will be listing out few advantages. So internet has changed the traditional learning system. So we don't need to be physically present in the class in order to, in order to learn. We now you must have been doing this. We all are doing this online class now. The teachers are teachers are recording their lessons in your, at your house in their houses, and you are getting the information. You are getting the information um, in your bedroom or a drawing room with the help of this internet. Internet had provided these facilities of online learning, so it is widely used for education purposes also by the scholars, students, and teachers to learn anytime and anywhere. So the time, there is no time factors where to learn, when to learn. So you can learn anytime, you can learn anywhere when, when you are connected to the internet, online learning, online class. So everything is done. So it has revolutionized the way of teaching and learning in the field of education. So one of the advantages in the, is that education had been system of traditional education learning system had been changed. The second one is information sharing. So internet can be considered as a super highway in the information. Through internet connection we can share an information to anywhere in the world. Convenient and economical mode of communication. Now another uh, uh, another changes 
that the internet had brought is in the field of communication. So, high speed internet connections had made it easy, affordable and time saving to communicate with friends, families and business. So, we can communicate with our family very easily without much effort or it is very cheap medium of communication. We don't have to uh, invest much for communication. Before when we used to do ISD, STD, um, you might not know about it, but it was very expensive. If you have to do the international call, it was it it, it used to uh, it used to cost uh, at least uh, sixty rupees per uh, minute also. Okay, so now this services the various services available on the internet like email, chat, video conferencing, instant messengers had made it very convenient and economical mode of communication. So this had also brought with the help of the internet. The next one is the next point of advantage is job opportunity has been increased. So with internet it is easy to know about the job opportunity listed by the corporates and other government website creating more employment prospect. So lot of uh, job seeker can visit the different website government websites or corporate website in order to get the job or fulfill the vacancy so you will be getting the very uh, many opportunities through the internet to get the job in the different part of the world so job opportunity is also increased with the help of this internet facility the next point which we will be discussing is uh, development of e-commerce. So when we say e-commerce, e-commerce means mm -hmm. electronic buying or selling of goods had become very popular with the help of the internet. So e-commerce stands for electronic commerce. Electronic commerce is a concept used for any type of commercial and business deals that involve the transfer of information across the globe by using the internet. With the use of inter internet facility, we can buy and sell the product throughout the world that is e-commerce. So there are other terms related to this commerce, e-commerce, e-banking, e-business are also there and this, uh, how they do the business. The many companies have their own portals, website which are used for e-commerce. So they need to have the website and other means of uh, communication through website they will be uh, giving their product uh, to the people and through banking they will be paying the uh, money or by, by, by money will be sent through the bank and the delivery is done through the courier services so this had also have be become very uh, popular these days online buying and selling as more safety features and online payment services were integrated with e-commerce, more people are using it. Okay. Now the next one is social media. So I don't have to say regarding the social media. When you see the picture, you must might find out that what is social media? It's offer the platform. Social media offers the platforms where individuals can connect with friends and the strangers on the basis of said interest or views. Some of the examples of social networking sites are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Messenger. So there are many um, sites which are there where we can share the uh, common interests and views amongst the friends and the strangers. So social media is another, another advantage, another changes in the way. The latest means of communication through social media had brought immense changes in the world in the society so people start using started using the social media networking site for communication sharing information and so on now let us come to the disadvantage disadvantages internet has several advantages for every individual and it is extremely popular in the modern age so it is very very popular without internet we can't live but however it is a tool which must be handled with caution it is it
misuse can be hazardous so we need to very care we need to use this thing very carefully it should not damage our mental or physical health it should so there are some uh, threats uh, in uh, about the internet uh, internet that the some of the threats are virus threat so virus threat computers that are connected are prone to the virus attack which can result in crashing of the system data loss or hardware malfunction if you are connected to the internet and if you if you do not have the proper antivirus software your system might get crash and your data might be stolen so you need to be very careful the next point of disadvantage is security threat you are you will not be secure it is vulnerable for the data theft and other other security internet is like a open room vulnerable for data theft and other security issues like data manipulation misuse of personal data and so on your data might be stolen one should be careful enough while handling one personal information such as name address credit card numbers etc as they can be accessed by the hacker cracker or the personal monetary gain such element can also disturb the system application by spreading the virus and changing the program logic and output so security threats are also there the next is wastage of time so another very serious issues is about the time wastage although internet provides the various services to its user yet people generally waste time and energy in surfing the net they can result this can result in loss of our personal interactions with people and it can also affect both our socializing skills and health so nowadays those children or adult also are not getting enough time to talk with their family members some everyone is uh, will be fidgeting with their phones at homes also and they are just um, uh, engrossed in that one and sometimes if there is no connectivity or server uh, no network or internet network they get frustrated and irritated so the behavioral changes is also having uh, is also brought by the internet so you need to be very careful and you should use this tools judici judiciously so that there should not be any health issues or uh, or any other issues regarding the uses of the internet so online gaming i see most of the people sitting on the street and playing they are least bothered about the time and energy they are spending so there are many issues are there so one of the issue is this wastage of time on the internet and so i can just talk about the um, addiction also some are addicted so much that they are unable to leave the net for few seconds also so that should not be there though internet is a boon to our society we should be very careful while using it so the next issues which we will be discussing is computing ethics now what is ethics ethics is a set of moral principles that governs the behavior of the groups or an individual so every house this and every family or every traditions have their ethic we say namaste good morning sashikal so many things when we say greet the people so we greet the people so that is the ethics so there are home rules where the people needs to come home uh, before uh, before evening and many things which are there which are conventions are followed these are the ethics the good things which we follow are the ethics but if it is not uh, it is not it will not be legally challenged if you do not do that also so ethics is a set of moral principle that governs the behavior of group of group or an individual so here computer ethics is a set of procedure moral principles and ethical practices that regulates the use of computer it is a set of informally defined rules and describe the do's and don'ts of being online or in the cyber world so this 
ethics computing ethics focuses on the right use of computer it describes the do's and don'ts ethics is a code of conduct to be followed for being safe in the online world so we need to be very careful we should not use the computer technology to cause disruptions or interference in the other work we should not use the computer technology to steal uh, other information others information so before developing software thinking about the social impact it can be can have so we need to be respectful respectful and courteous with the fellow members while communicating on the so these are some of the ethical guidelines which we need to follow while using the computer technology so so this ethics aims at encouraging the id users to be responsible in order to utilize the technologies tool judiciously so we will be continuing other uh, different unethical practices in the cyber world in our next class uh, so this much for today uh, stay safe and healthy thank you